Welcome back friends and today I'd like to go over this form called Black Tiger Stealing Heart. Cool form, cool sounding form isn't it? So we left off here and that's it. Pretty simple. So I'll face this way. Again. Now I'll face this way so you can see at a different angle. Again. Now a few things to remember on this forum called Black Tiger Stealing Heart is that when your when your arms are coming back your body needs to be with it with your hands too so it's almost your your body is almost retreating also and then coming forward kind of like a rubber band how you how it stretches back and then shoots when you let go it Uh, releases a lot of energy so think of that way too and your hand technique your hand work when you punch don't oh, don't overextend your punch because you can really hurt your elbow so have a bend a little a little bend on the elbow and then your your left hand is acts like a counter a counter balance so this helps with your balance and your counter balance or your left arm is bent a lot and your fist is almost is pretty much at your right elbow so And then the footwork, you can see that my feet, there's just a, a little bit of space separation. So it's almost a little shoulder width apart is fine. And feet are lined up almost together. And then you can hear a little stamp. My right hand, my right foot stamps to the ground. And if you're injured, if your leg hurts, it's okay. You can just, just a light little stamp. But for application purpose, if you should ever have to use this technique, you want to put a lot of force into that stamp. And this helps sink the energy into the ground and then comes back up into your punch. So from the earth into your right hand punch or it could be left hand punch also if, if you have an opportunity to go with the left arm strike so one more time and there you have it friends black tiger stealing heart and until next time have a great day, friends.